What's up guys, it's your boy Wings Redemption, and I'm bringing you a little sniper gameplay on Villa. This is Domination, I'm using the PSG1 Extended Mags again. Alright, what I want to talk about is the March Madness. And I want to talk about the seeds. Because we all know my man, the Gervin's going to win this shit. But, let's go talk about all the other losers that's in this. <laughs> um, if you haven't seen the video yet, uh, Woody and Ukrainian Limbs are going to have, have released the video which you'll find in the description of the Sunday Celeste selection so you can actually see the brackets and how they're gonna work out if you don't know what March Madness is, March Madness is kind of like a uh, kinda of like March Madness for like the, the, the basketball teams um, what it is is you get two people facing off to make one video and then that video will be judged through a panel of judges that are unbiased which um, I, I know the panel of judges but I'm not going to announce them. But the fact is, there's like four judges, and uh, they're they're pretty much unbiased. They don't really care what ha happens to YouTube or who people on YouTube are, and they pick the best video to win. That's how commentators like, you know, Sam Five Thousand going up against the Aviator might be a challenge, because most of the guys that are really big on YouTube right now didn't get there from having very innovative videos what we did we got there from having personality and the ability to play and uh, the ability to play at this section in the community doesn't weigh as much as it used to be like um, I'd go so far and say as the ability to play in this March Madness thing won't matter whatsoever uh, Sam has been known for doing like montage madness and things and things of that nature so I'm wondering what he's going, to, what's going to come out from him. But I'm not going to talk about each individual thing as one piece. What I'm going to talk about is like some of the heavy hitters versus some of the underdogs. Um, somebody like Try Hard Ninja is what's going to really bother me because somebody's going to come out and put all these kind of song videos in that get you smiling and things. And I don't think that's fair in a sense. I think there should be another rule in there that you have to do a video that you could put out on a regular basis. I understand that you could probably put out a song parody on a regular basis, but for the most part, that's not a normal video. That's not what somebody's gonna come to see on your channel every day. And I don't I don't really agree with putting like song parodies and things in that in this. Like if you if if, if that's something you mix up in your in your videos every day is a song parody, I can understand it. But that's a lot of work in those videos, and those are real, real high-quality videos, and that's not something you put out on a channel every day. What do you guys feel about that versus, like, you know, some of these, some of these guys are going to be bringing some of their best work and hopes to win this, but in the long run, it's supposed to be a commentator versus commentator, which, you know, <laughs> there's more there's more ex cows out there than there is um, you know, uh, Freddy W's. If that makes sense. Uh, let's see what some of the other brackets I can remember off the top of my head. I didn't know a lot of them. Like, uh, well, back back to what I, the other thing I was talking about. Like somebody like the game 360. He puts out B scores and does a Sandy Ravage esque gameplay. But even then, I don't really know how well he'll do in this against some of the guys that you know. Like Jive Turkey 600, I expect him to do really well in it, because he, if he breaks out some of those rap songs he's been known for, he's gonna he's gonna demolish at least the first, second, and third round until he actually gets to another, you know, commentator that can do a song. And I, I think the song parodies are gonna be key in this. If you could sing, you're gonna have a super advantage in this. Oh, if you notice here, I'm I'm not using my dogs or helicopter because I never expected us to lose the A flag. It, they kind of pushed us at this point. Look at that bullshit lag. They kind of pushed us at this point, and um, that's why I haven't used them. You, you'll notice as soon as we lose the A bomb, I'll, I'll go ahead and use them. But that's the reason I didn't. I didn't want to waste. I didn't want to like use them and not have the full time on them because the round had like four or five seconds left after the A defuse. But but the, the song parody is going to be key in this, and I don't know how much to say this. I mean, I don't think how how many people realize how. How big those song parodies are going to be. <clears throat> That's the one thing I'm worried about the Gervin. The Gervin can't sing. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. I'm also going for Scout Pro. You'll see me chase people down with, like, the, uh, oh, look at that fuck up. <laughs> oh, I got him, though. I got him. 
Get shake, bitch. Look at this. Look at look at this fool right here. This is how you play somebody right here. Boom. Look at me moving. Watch this. I see he's coming. He's coming. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You mine. Use your environment. Sorry, my boy sounds a little different now. I just woke up and going and trying to get this video out today because my I do actually pick my brother up today. And um, he's coming in for two weeks, so expect some videos with him coming up soon as well. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And you want some pro tips on some sniping? Um, the uh, thing of a shit, Scout Pro is the way to go on the second tier. Let's see, I get my Scout Pro right there. But that, that was actually the last kill for Scout Pro. Oh, there we go. Alright. Look at these kids sucking. There we go. But I think Marsh Madness is going to be pretty good. But I think it's I think at the same aspect, it's going to, it's going to kind of wean on you just like everything else that lasts a super long time. And, um... I'm hoping that the level of effort of videos will actually keep it entertaining over the long run, other than like something like the Frag Cup. It, I don't know if you guys remember the Frag Cup, but it, um... Uh, damn, we're still in the first round? Oh, shit. But like the Frag, if you guys remember the Frag Cup, it, it was really, I was really excited going into the Frag Cup. I'm talking about the original one, because I never watched like the Halo one. And, um... And the fact is, half the teams got kind of disqualified. Half the teams didn't show up, you know. And it it, it all got to the point. It's like, ugh, this ain't even worth watching no more. Then, like, some of the gameplay didn't even have, like, color commentary over them. Like, if you're going to do something like the Frag Cup, you need to have, like, two commentators doing it the entire time. Like a baseball game. Try watching baseball without color commentary. And remember, there's some sports that you could probably do it with, like basketball, but... You couldn't watch baseball without the announcers. You couldn't do it. You'd be bored out your mind unless they weren't reading those damn stats off. And, um, that's basically a nice sniper gameplay. Let's go ahead and wind it down here. And it's been your boy, Wings of Redemption. And the final score is 59 and 4. As you see right here. Running in. Ooh. Oh, shit. That guy sucks. Peace.